Hello friends, welcome to my channel Nikhira Techies. This is our React.js Material UI tutorial. So today we can implement Material UI table with pagination. Okay. First, let me go to my application. So as usual, we can create a new component. So it is the JS file. I'm going to provide the name is MUI table. Okay. So then we can use the SFC stateless function component. MUI table okay so next we can include one h1 tag MUI table okay after that we can include this component into our routing side so in this app.js so let me include like the path value is table so in this element point of view you can include mui table okay so next in our header side we can include one more link for our table see so this is our new menu material UI table okay so next we can start the implementation from our material UI table component, I'm going to use this paper. So this is for the designing purpose only. Here using this CSX props option, we can set the width is 90 percentage. Okay. Okay, this is fine. So here we can include the table container. So this table container also belongs to this MUI material. So next we can include the table. So whatever component I am using, it will be imported top of that. So let me format it. So next in this table, we have to include the header information. So here we can use the tag is table head. Okay. So in this header side, we can include the row. So then our element name is table row. Okay. And the next thing is we have to include the columns. So before that, let me define my all the columns. Okay. It is kind of array. So there we have to include the objects. First ID. So our first column is mapping to the ID and name. So in this display side, we can provide as the ID. Okay. So similarly, we can include the other fields also. The second one is name and the third one is email and the fourth one is phone. Okay. Okay. We are getting this error. Okay. So let me include this constant variable. columns okay now let me go back to our header side so here we can generate the for loop from this react we can use the map option okay so here we have to use the table cell so table cell is nothing but the column okay so in this element first we have to use the key so key is nothing but our ID okay so similarly this name we can bind it here so let me save this one we can see the output now okay and this alignment point of view after this width I'm going to include one more property margin left let me include five percentage okay now it is moved into the center okay okay now we have completed our table header next let me move on the table body okay we can use the table body here so in this table body we have to load the data in this dynamic manner so I'm going to use the JSON server rest API okay 
so let me run this json server stpa json server watch db.json so currently our application running in the port number of 3000 so we can run our api in the 8000 okay port 800 okay new file is created and here we can remove this commands and the profile section so instead of the post we can change this into employee I am already having some data in this handy manner so let me include it here so let me include it here okay so now this is our APA endpoint URL so it is returning the data so the fields are ID name email and phone number okay so next in our component side I am going to declare one use state variable rows and the event is row change use state of so the default value is mtra okay so let me save this one and then we can use the use cfi hook So here we can include zero dependency okay so let me format this one so in this use effect hook we can use this fetch option so using that we can call our api okay so already we know our api url i mean the api endpoint so let me copy this one we can use it here okay so then If it is having the data, we can convert this into JSON. So next. So here basically we will get the value. So finally if there is in any error, we can put in the console. Okay. So currently our API value available in this variable. So we can assign this into our rows. Okay so let me use this row change function so here i'm going to pass this resp that's it <coughs> okay since we have the data we can populate our table body okay so we can use the conditional template so first i'm checking this rows have this value if it is yes we can use the map option okay we can get the individual row and also the index so here we can return so inside that we can create the table row okay so next we have to include this key so in this key we can provide this index so okay our row is ready then we have to populate the columns also okay so again I am using one more conditional template so now we can use these columns so again I am using this map option individual column again here also we can use this index so let me format this one so here let me declare one value row of column dot id next let me return once again so inside that we can create the table cell that's it so in this table cell we can find this value and also in this key here also I am going to provide the same value only okay so let me save this one so here it should be a rectangular basis okay so let me save this one we 
can see the output so let me save this one and we can see the output okay see so our data are loaded currently I'm having 11 records all are loaded in the same page itself okay so next what I'm going to do so in this header let me make is the sticky header so let me use the direct view of sticky header in our table so next in our header column I'm going to include one style background color let me provide black so similarly for the color we can provide white see now we have changed the color okay the next important thing is we have to include the pagination after this table container we have to include the table pagination and next let me declare two use state variables so already we have this rows so after that we can include the first one is page so the event is page change okay so the default value is zero and the next one is row per page so the initial value i am going to provide us just to five so let me save this one and next in our uh, table paginator side row for pagination option okay so it is kind of array so we can provide 5 10 25 so there are three options i have provided so similarly it is having this page option so for that we can use the same page so similarly next one is rows per page okay for that we can bind the row per page okay so let me save this one and this component we can consider as the due so next I am going to include one event on page change okay we can add like handle change page so let me define this one so in this top of that here event and a new page are the parameters using this page change function we can set the new page okay and one more thing it's a kind of spelling mistake okay so similarly I'm going to include one more event change so the next event is on row per page change okay so the function name is handle so let me copy this one we can define the function also here it is having this event so next using this function plus event dot target dot value and also we can make this page also into zero and the next thing is in our binding side I mean in this table binding so before making this map we have to use this slice option we have to input like base into row per page comma this is base into row per page plus so let me format this one and we can see the output okay see now okay we have some undefined error so that actually we can resolve so meanwhile if you noted so if I'm changing this into 10 it is loaded the 10 records 
so then 10 to 5 it's loaded all the 11 records okay so anyway let me verify this one none and undefined okay okay here so let me remove this one we have to include this page so in this page we have to bind this value and then we have to include the count also okay so in this count side so already we have our final data in this rows dot length so let me save this one see now it is working fine see now this row per, rows per page five records it is showing one to five out of eleven records so if i'm clicking this one see it is showing six to ten records so in this final page we have a single record okay so similarly if i'm changing this into row per page is 10 okay in order to our pagination is working so next what i'm going to do so this header is the sticky header so then we can include the scroll for this table container okay for this container side i am going to include maximum height so maximum height i have provided 450 see now so our table in this uh, fixed mode but our rows are just uh, scrolling so if i am giving 5 so there is no issue so in case if i am providing 10 or 25 so still our header is in this table mode but the data are moving okay so now we are in the end of the video still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching